Cape Haven will play host to today's Golden Tee Mobile head-to-head matchup between two council members of Golden Tee Mobile, the league. Matthew Shulkin, MBS 21, against this man, Joel Wilburn. Moneyball, Cape Haven, front nine. Hi, everyone. I'm Chad Shrump. Two great players going to head-to-head. Love to see it. Moneyball off the tee, and here is Shulkin, MBS 21, off the tee as well. And we are live. Here we go. The approach in, three iron javelin. That is right for Shulkin. That is too deep for great shot points. Here is Moneyball. This looks really nice. This needs to slow down, though, and now he's in the trap. The line looked good. Slowly shifted right. Huge chip for Moneyball from the sand up and over, and that is a par for Moneyball on hole number one. If you get too aggressive on the first hole, and we have all done it. If you've all played Cape Haven first hole, you've all been in that trap. We've all done it. You don't want to do it in this situation, Joel, but it has happened. Lubbock, Texas, Joel Wilburn against Reston. No, where are you from, Shulkin? Somewhere in Massachusetts in the Boston area. Can't really remember exactly. It has escaped this little brain. Here we go, though. Par four, second hole. Matt's going to laugh at me for that one. I can't believe I forgot that. Here is a javelin in. Looks really nice from Shulkin. Just misses great shot points and the hole. Moneyball needs a stroke back. This will not be the one. However, he might get great shot points here. He does. 10,600 for his effort. Nice shot from Joel. Very pretty shot, actually. That is a flat green, though, and hit that a bit left. So that is a putt for birdie. But first, here is MBS 21 in, and Joel will kick this one in as well. So we move on to the third hole, par three. Another chance for Joel to get that stroke back. Here's Shulkin, javelin on the way, and just misses to the left. Great shot points. That is a lot of points for this short little hole. Tells you he was very close to making this one. He has a foot or two putt here for birdie. Joel needs this one pretty desperately. Three iron, javelin on the way. That is deep, and that is right. Here is his putt for birdie. On the way, good. Shulkin's putt will be good. Two-footer, as I thought. And we move on to the par four fifth hole. Biggest part of this shot is get it out in the fairway enough to have a good shot in for your second. The tee shot here is paramount. Here is Shulkin. Oh, no! Huge mistake for Shulkin. That is a chance for Joel. Joel hits a four wood. This will land in the fairway. I need to look at Shulkin's shot again. Not sure if he hit a bad swipe or just didn't hit it hard enough. So Joel has a chance to get a stroke back. He probably will. Here's the 320 driver in safely on board. That's very nicely done. Shulkin, sniper wedge, flops it out. Interesting. Now he will have a three wood. Sniper, that will be for birdie. So for all intents and purposes, this match is now tied. Let's look at the great shot points to see where we are at. Joel, 10,600. Shulkin, 7,300. So a slight advantage for Joel Wilburn. Here's the sniper onto the green, the drivable par four, fifth hole. Nicely done. Here's Shulkin, goes for the fat part of this green. This will bounce hard, but should settle in, and it does. That is a putt for Eagle, down four, left one in the jar. Eagle, nicely done for Matt. Moneyball makes his putt as well. Still tied after five, four to play. If we're tied after the ninth hole, we will look at the great shot points. If Joel still has that advantage, he will move on via tiebreaker, but we have a long 
long way to go. Joel, naked, off the tee, love it. Here is Shulkin, off the tee. Matt uses a javelin. That settles into the end of the fairway. Both players have a lot of room here to run a stinger in. Two iron for Joel. That will come back a little right, but he is very aggressive on the stinger. He is off like 4 to 5%. Here he is is Shulkin. This runs up and in. Matt Shulkin takes a one-stroke lead. 20,000 GSP to boot. A huge shot for Matt. Gives him the tiebreaker lead on great shot points and the stroke. Here is Joel. Chip is good. This is an old-fashioned slugfest back and forth. Three different holes have changed hands. Here is Shulk. And no! It's the wall. It goes in the water. What is happening this week? Shulk just misses the fairway. Joel will hit a 320 driver sniper, and that is safely on the green grass. Here's Matt. Ranger in will bounce softly, runs out. That will be for birdie. And remember, Matt got a lot of points for that hole out on six. Here's Joel, sniper in, bends around. He should get points here. 9,000, let's look at these cards in a minute. This is shaping up to be an unbelievable matchup. We have four holes that have swung back and forth. Tell me the last time we've had that many. Maybe a couple weeks ago, we had a match like that. I think Uper was involved in that one. So a birdie for Shulkin, an eagle for Joel, 27,000 GSP for Shulkin, 20,000 for Wilburn. Moneyball off the tee, trails by 7,000 GSP. We'll let this javelin roll out. He looks like he's too far right for points. He was. Here's Shulkin, sniper in. Line looks good, just short, no points there either. We are going to go to the drivable par four, ninth hole to decide this match. These players are tied, 10 under a piece. The GSP lead is held by Shulkin. Straight win, Joel needs points. This line looks fantastic. That is deep though, no points. Shulkin just needs to eagle here and he will move on to the semis. Orbits in, this will come rocking back. So Joel is going to come up short because Matt Shulkin buries that putt and wins this match. Full of mistakes, full of fun, back and forth battle, Shulkin prevails and we'll move on to this week's semifinal action. What a back and forth match.